Hi, hello, good evening. This is my first blog for 2023. Now, I'm at home today, as per usual, so there's nothing new there about my life. Um, it's after eight, so the boys are asleep, so I'm able to touch wood, um, fingers crossed and toes, to do a quick blog for 2023. Now, this year, I will be the big four zero. I'm one of the youngest in my year at school, so mine is actually in the summer. So over the next several months, I will be aiming to reach certain targets before the big four zero in my life. Obviously, I have got to be realistic with these targets, and I am going to face some challenges but on a positive note, uh, I've been diagnosed, so I know what my health problems are. I know what medication I should be taking, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can be a little bit more organised this year because I've been on the same medication now for six months. And the big sigh of relief is that my son finally got his diagnosis for autism. It has been a really long battle. Anyone with children who have SEN needs or are on the waiting list for assessments will vouch how mentally and physically, not to emotion and also emotionally exhausting this is. There have been tears, you know, literally sweat, blood and tears have been lost from myself, from my friends, from my family members. And I think the hardest thing was for my son. But now he's finally got that assessment out of the way. He has he's got autism. They tend not to specify where he is on the spectrum, just that he this is what he's got. He's also now been advised to take melatonin to help regulate his sleep. Myself, um, I'm on amitriptyline for PTSD. Um as an adult, obviously, I can make the more conscious decision as to whether or not every night I feel I need to take that medication. Whereas with my son, <clears throat> he's still really young and they were very reluctant to give young people sleeping aids that involve medication. But as a young person, he cannot be having two to four hours sleep a night and that is how much he was sleeping. And that was one of the reasons why we couldn't get him to school on time. We couldn't take him anywhere. We couldn't do anything with him. It was because not so much that he was tired. It was that we were, <laughs> his parents. And um, so hopefully if we can regulate his sleep, it will make things a bit more easier for him as well in the long run. And he's also going to be diagnosed to see whether or not he has ADHD, which is classed as attention deficit disorder. So we are, I will be homeschooling him indefinitely. He doesn't have an educational healthcare plan. At the time, the school was saying academically he doesn't need one. There's nothing wrong with him. He passed speech and language, so they don't have any issues with his speech and language development anymore. So he's not under any governing bodies or external governing bodies so as much as I would have liked him to go to school to interact with young people and you know maybe the school could have offered him things that me as his mom or his dad who we, we don't live together couldn't then fair enough but when your son's coming home crying and screaming every single day because he's being bullied and because he's not happy at school and doesn't want to go at certain times of the day to school because he's scared of the teachers or that people are going to shout at him. You've got to think to yourself, hang on a minute, you know, if he was an adult, he would make those decisions himself, fingers crossed. Would you, as an adult, want to put yourself in that situation? Sometimes, yes, you do, unfortunately, as an adult. You put yourself in vulnerable situations. You shouldn't, but it happens. And I'm thinking, why would I subject my child to that? What am I teaching my child by saying, I don't care about your wants or your needs. You are going to go to school Monday to Friday, nine till four. 
whether you like it or not. Um, you know, and then to get a phone call two, three hours later, which is what was happening, saying that he had hit, kicked, spit, punched or bit a member of staff. You know, I mean, it's not fair on him. It's not fair on the school. It's not fair on the other students. And I heard what some of the other students were saying about my trial behind his back. And I wouldn't wish that on anyone. So this year we want to have a positive mental attitude. We're going to homeschool. I'm going to blog about it as much as I can to support anyone else out there who's struggling. And hopefully by the end of this year, my son will needs will be met more and I'm hoping that all of the developmental goals that I am aiming for him to achieve by January 2024 have been met and as long as that's happened I don't care how it happens then we've achieved something so happy new year everybody enjoy the rest of the day I hope anything that I do blog about or take photos of or put on social media is supportive of everybody else. But please remember, you're not alone and do not suffer in silence, okay? There are so many people out there who are struggling at the moment because of the cost of living, because of all the strikes that are taking place, you know? And even if it is just texting somebody or posting someone on social media or phoning a helpline number which I myself have had to do in the past don't give up giving up okay if you need help try and fight for it because the way I see it is no one else is going to fight that battle for you but it doesn't mean that you have to fight that battle on your own but you have to be at the forefront of that battle so please don't suffer in silence and don't feel ashamed of having to ask for help because the only person you're going to end up hurting at the end of the day is you. All right. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not a specialist. I'm not a psychiatrist, but from past experience, the longer you suffer, the only person that you're going to affect is yourself in the long run. So please, please, please make 2023 the year that you put your needs first if you haven't already been doing so. Because until you can help yourself, how can you help anyone else? So thank you once again, and enjoy the rest of the 2nd of January.